Hello everyone and welcome back to the episode of the streak. We are jumping in again and we are jumping in on a 50 streak, baby. We're going to do Eden this time around, of course. Good old Eden. He's a fun one. Where the hell is he? There he is. Good old Eden. He can be a devil. He can be a sin, but we shall see. Uh, we get um, some extra damage, a planetarium and the burn saw. I don't remember how the burn saw works. He's near a beggar or shopkeep to instantly kill them. Okay. That's all we need to know. Shopkeepers and beggars, we can instantly kill them to gain a low chance of some rewards, and also the rewards that they would regularly drop. Not bad. I like the extra damage we're starting with as well. I absolutely love Infestation 2, baby. Infestation 2 is very, very nice. Uh, and yeah, like, if we can get a key, Planetarium off the bat, I mean, you know for a fact I won't get a key now that I need one, but the fact that we have the option is it's pretty nice here. Ah, I tried to bomb into this guy, but... Couldn't quite get the chain reaction started. Unfortunately, I didn't actually realize there was a tinted drop there, because that would have been my primary target for uh, a bomb had I a known. Well, there you go. Uh, can I actually reach that in one bomb? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I'm not going to waste my bomb just in case. Of course, this is the streak, so we want to be playing as well as we possibly can. It's my first episode of the streak back after a long break of playing the other series and just not playing Isaac for a little bit. So, I've got quite a bit of their uh, anxiety about coming back but honestly now that i've hit my goal of 50 streak i'm way less sort of precious about the streak as a whole obviously we're not getting a key here by the looks of things which is uh absolutely fantastic it's always the case isn't it we'll try and find secret room and hope we get them from secret room but you know what you know what's gonna happen oh i really thought a key was gonna drop on that little island then i really thought it was gonna screw me right um so we can come up to you and kill you we do have a key there. Uh, we'd need one extra penny, though, to get to it, which at the minute I'm not seeing where that would come from. But there's options. There's options. Let's uh, let's take a little, a little look around. There's still options, baby. Take a look around everywhere we possibly can. Okay. We're going to want to find Secret Room, but I'm honestly pretty unsure as to where it is. I think it's here. I'm going to gamble on this. There you go, baby. And there's some spicy keys. We got that. I'm probably just going to buy the, the key instead. Actually, no. Do you know what? I'm going to buy the soul heart, take the spicy key. That makes way more sense. Because then we gain half a soul heart and we gain a one additional key. It's a little more logical. A little more logical. But either way, how is everybody on this fine, fine day? Have you been enjoying watching the streak as it progresses? I know that all of you have enjoyed watching the deleted streak that we've been doing at the moment. Um, grants three homing gems that can be cast while attacking and stick to enemies. Inflict damage and bruising has special synergy with certain items. Bruised enemies take bonus damage from all sources. Okay. This is always one of those items that I'm confused by. I've had it a few times. I still don't fully understand how it works, but... We'll make the most of it, I hope. We'll see what we can do. Um, I mean, bruising on its own is pretty good. Bruising on its own is decent enough. But yeah, herming, bruising. Specific synergy with certain things is kind of nice. Why? Why'd you gotta be so fast? We'll grab this for a bit of speed ourselves. I'll take a pill. Friends. Friends till the end. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, down we go. Feeling good. As for the question of the day, what's um what's a mod on another game that you've been really enjoying recently? I've recently um, started looking into Black Ops 3 modded zombies. I haven't played uh, Call of Duty Zombies in a while. And uh, a YouTube video popped up about modded zombies. And I was like, oh damn. I don't think I've played much modded zombies before. I had a look. Went in, installed the game, downloaded a ton of mods. And then the game was like, downloading 300 gigabyte of data. And I was like, oh. Uh, Maybe I shouldn't download all of the maps at once and maybe download them and play them one at a time. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a go. Probably later today. This evening, something like that. Anyways, we pop in here. Flatstone. I still don't really know why it's tier 2. It should be tier 1. But Flatstone's not bad. It's just not good. It's one of those things where it's got some synergy potential, but otherwise it's kind of meh. I like these gemstones. They seem to be providing some good damage. I mean, obviously they're herming as well. They do damage on contact, um, as well as applying bruising, so they've got multiple uses. 
multiple uses. I don't think I've got to pick them up between rooms, do I? No, I don't. Good. I had to check just in case. But the fact that you can, like, re-pick them up and resend them out is, uh, is quite lovely. Uh, oh, Confused myself there. I think Curse of the Maze kind of messed me up a little bit there. Got me turned around. That was weird. It was Curse of the... Yeah, it was definitely Curse of the Maze that got me so confused there. I love the strong homing on them as well, like circling around the enemy. And obviously, at the minute with Infestation 2, we're in a good spot. Grab that. Lovely stuff. We can go back. Do you know what? I'll, I'll grab that and we'll go back and grab the, uh, the golden chest, I think. Golden chest. Plenty of good things lurking within. Um, but yeah, I've had, a, I've had a nice little sort of break from, from Isaac for a little bit. Uh, I tend to do it every now and again where I just... Um, I record a bunch of videos and take a bit of a step back and just kind of let my uploads go and just just chill and play the game and it's fun. It's nice to have that every now and again. Um, and in the in that time, I went home and saw my parents after uh, getting engaged. We had like a little engagement sort of dinner with my uh, my mum cooking for um, myself, obviously uh, my fiance and um, her parents as well as my sister and her boyfriend. It was really nice. It was really really nice feel very lucky to be able to have that. Um, she made this, like, absolutely amazing, like, m large Mexican feast of just basically all the Mexican foods you'd want. Uh, it was, it was beautiful. She made some very nice guac and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go into my shop, not because I have enough money, but because I have the ability to chop down the, um, the shopkeeper. Should probably look for my secret room as well, actually. But we have the ability to chop down this guy. Um, didn't really play out the way I wanted it to. I guess I'll buy the soul heart at least. And I'll buy the sack as well, actually. There's an additional bomb. Lovely stuff. Okay. Secret room is pretty obvious here, I think. It's not. Okay. It's not as obvious as I thought. I thought it was uh, right here, but it's not. Okay, so it could be in a couple of locations. Not there. Okay. I think I know where it is. I'm hoping it's actually here because then I can get into the care room for free. Indeed, I can. Lovely. Uh, or I could get this. I think it's I think it's more uh, more important to go for the care room. Quickly grab these without taking any damage if we can. Unfortunately, we need another bomb to get to that. So bit of a bust there. But we do get to chop down another one of you, which is kind of nice. And we can take on. The next floor. Lovely stuff. Okay, pretty average run so far. Nothing to uh nothing to cry about. We've got pretty pretty good stuff going on here. I think we're uh we're already reasonably set up for a a winning run. It's not a guaranteed win by any means, but I think we're 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 set up for success is what I'd say. But yeah, if any of you had any any nice family meals recently. Uh, picking up a soul heart as a chance of granting a holy mantle, 30% chance of picking up a tail heart. That seems pretty decent, considering we're mostly soul heart based right now. I'd say that's uh, it's pretty useful. I like this little mini game we've got going on with these gems. We have to kind of chase them around the room to maximize our damage output. I want to be sticking them onto enemies and then grabbing them back and throwing them back out again. It's kind of cool. It's a cool little system, and I, I love the noises they make as well. The noises they make are really enjoyable. That was just really bad damage there, but I was trying to get my gemstones back to stick them on him. Because it's bruising, as I said before. Increase the amount of damage we deal to him, which is pretty significant, actually. Pretty significant. We're about to fall off of him now, yeah. Oop, I got whipped there. We're good A, and we got a holy mantle shield as well. We also got the ruler. Very, very good. Our fire rate has, uh, has reached some pretty impressive levels already. Kind of interesting that that was like a, a literal straight shot all the way left to the boss. But yeah, granting Holy Mantle 50% chance on Soul Heart. I wonder if that's 15% chance per half Soul Heart. Picking up a Soul Heart. I don't know. So I, I don't know if picking up a full Soul Heart gives us 30% chance or what. I, I'm really not sure how that would work. This could be an annoying room, isn't it? Lost my Holy Mantle there, but... It is what it is. Where's the other, uh... There it is. Without my gemstones, I am nothing! I don't know if I can... Nah, I can't reach him. I was hoping to chop him down. Ooh. I'd like to put some keys into that. We've also got the blue key there for going to the blue womb. 
Don't think we need that right now. Okay, looking for an additional few keys. Hopefully that can help us out. Oh my god, I am just walking into enemies right now. As you can, as, as I said, a little bit out of practice. A little bit out of practice. We do have Mr. Ferryman here. Do you know what? I've got I've got ten cent. I'll I'll pay to ferry for you to ferry me on my way. I do like having the um the streak as the series where we have everything unlocked. It's kind of nice. I know that like just based on views wise, I know that people aren't as into the uh, the streak as they are into the regular series, and I think that's just because obviously I play a bit different and the the videos are typically a little longer sort of thing. Uh, so I, I do understand that, but I do like having the series as kind of like a, we get, really? That had to hit, did it? Um, I like having it as this way to have uh, a few episodes where we have absolutely everything unlocked. It's kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, I was going to lose it in this room anyway, so I don't mind too much losing it before. This room's kind of rough. Should have played it a bit differently. But, I don't know, we get a, few, a good few keys out of this already, so it's money well spent-ish. Yeah. Unfortunately, we did not gain as much out of this as I was hoping. Probably not quite worth the 10 cent, but we get some keys, like I said. Dude, we are so weak without these goddamn gemstones. These gemstones kill it for us. Unfortunate. Not, not the best lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff we could have gained out of that, but yeah, it is what it is. We'll go back with our head held high, with a few keys in the back of our pocket, and we can go and open up three golden chests over here with those, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, not not the best, not the best payout there. Yeah, these gemstones are, are really really good. I just need to be using them all the time. Bonus damage on enemies that I hit, and I can do contact damage to enemies that I hit with them. I've lost a little bit more HP than I'd like to admit here. That's not too bad, though. Good stuff. Okay. Back we go. Damn, I really want to be able to chop you up. But we did get enough to go to the shop, though. And obviously we got keys from our uh, ferryman to get into the shop as well, so... We're pretty good on that front. Unfortunately, I've uh, I've kind of bungled myself a little bit with my gemstones here. I don't think there's any way that I can get them now. And I didn't realise he'd be able to hit me there. Tried to sneak through, but it obviously didn't work out too well. I did play a run recently. This was uh, one of my deleted runs where I got literally a no-hit run. So uh, my skills are still there. They may be, uh, may be sort of nestled in the back of my subconscious. I don't know if I'm able to actively use them, but uh, my Isaac skills are still present and accounted for somewhat. Okay, good. Slightly annoying room here, but all in all, with the gemstones, not really too bad. Infestation 2 is obviously a real big help too. Right, where are you, shop? I mean, shop and item room. There you go. Got them both nestled back here. We've already done our boss, haven't we? A, a soul heart. No holy mantle that time, though. Plus five bombs. Of, actually, I think we probably want to go for um, pay to play here. I didn't think about the fact that I didn't quite have enough there. That was my bad. Should have bought pay to play first because you gain money from pay to play. That was a little bit stupid of me. Um, maybe cutting this guy down will uh, give us the money we need. Sadly not. Damn, that was really stupid. Okay, um, maybe we won't be getting paid to play then. I mean, it's not that bad. Paid to play isn't that good. Um, it's just a little bit of a stupid mistake is all. Quickly check in here. Baby. That's what I like to see. But yeah, I gotta say, running a little low on keys right now, so I think being able to use money for more things is gonna be a little more advantageous. Beautiful. Gives you five back. Wow, I just sneeze really, really loudly. I'm very glad that I paused in time there. <laughs> My god, I apologise. I don't feel like I'm getting ill, but I'm I'm feeling a little stuffy at the minute, you know? Feeling a little stuffy. I apologise if there's any snivels, because I know some people really don't like that, so... I will try my best to keep them at bay or mute if I need to, but I think we're just going to head down to the next floor. Feeling pretty good about this run so far. Oh my... 
Ooh. It's a tiring one. I spent a lot of the morning um, on the phone. With, I, I actually had a pretty good morning this morning. Um, I, I spent a good amount of the morning on the phone with EE, um, who's like a network provider in the UK, um, ordering some, um, some, what's it called? Uh, like Wi-Fi routers for, for my work, for like live streaming and stuff. It was a way, way more of a hassle than I thought it'd be. Because someone in my company, like, our CEO is American, it makes things way more difficult doing stuff in the UK, because, like, they wanted, like, a UK company director, of which I'm not a company director. I, I mean, I sh technically I should be, but I'm not on the on the company records. I'm not a director. Um, but they wanted a director um, to, like, basically approve the purchase. And they wanted a bunch of, like, details about the company that I just didn't have. So it's a little awkward, and I had to spend way longer on the phone. But luckily I got, like, quite a helpful service person. That's something that, like... It's really just underrated in life. <laughs> like, people people that, that work in telecommunications, people that work, like, on, on the phones and stuff, those jobs are some of the shittiest jobs that exist. Like, no offense if you have one of those jobs, someone's got to do them, but those jobs, I think even people in that industry will say, that those jobs suck. They're really awful. You, you have to deal with a lot of horrible people, and you spend your entire day just sitting in one room on a phone. It's not it's not very stimulating. But when you get a person that's actually, like, really, like, damn good at it and respectful, it's, it's really nice. And I luckily got that with um with this person I spoke to. It was, it was quite nice. This is a well annoying. Can you just hurry your ass up and get over here, please? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, but... Very nice of you. Oh, hello. Hello. I know your dirty tricks, game. I know your dirty tricks. Booster box is fucking incredible. We like booster box a lot. On killing an enemy, chance to activate a random card. Sometimes it can be ones that aren't so, uh, aren't so useful. <laughs> Got a red room here. Sometimes it can be ones that give you great teleports. You never really know. Life is like a box of chocolates. Right, check what's going on down here. Oh, we got a tumor. The high priestess. Good, good. Don't mind that at all. Don't mind that at all. High priestess there was a little sketchy. Got to admit. Kind of what I was hoping for here, to be honest. Plenty of keys and pennies. Well, have little to no idea where that came from, but I'll take it. It's, it's a bit better than my burn saw, I think. Burn saw is good, but it's one of those. It's kind of limited. The later you get into the game, the sort of less useful it can be. Weird floor. Weird floor layout here. Right, um... This will get us some limestone boys. Well, that was kind of nice to get a troll bomb there, that helped. And we can crack this bad boy open. Hopefully get the double item payout. Yes, we did. Unfortunately, neither are great items. I'm going to leave them both there in the hopes that we get a reroll. Very unlikely, but considering how close it is to the um, to the boss room, I feel like why not take a little peep rooney Why not take a little look around and see what's what before we uh, before we just grab two items that we really won't see much of any use out of? But yeah, we've got quite quite the big little family going on here. Quite the big little family. You know what I meant. Eden's Blessing still doesn't work for us for some reason. We won't actually get an extra item on the next run. Someone did say what I should do is um, give myself, like, Chaos and then um, use myster um, Mystery Bot... Uh, mis like, what's it called? Mysterious Gift. Which I think I will do if I remember. If I remember. Big ifs here. Big ifs. Right. Pop in here. Grab this other red room. Hope we get teleported to the one next to the... Yes! That's exactly what I wanted, baby. Oh, and we got access to our boss trap room from here as well. Blood bombs? Eh, not the greatest, but it is a red heart and does give us free use of bombs. 
Um, white Roars, not bad either. Don't know who's mine, I'll be honest. There's, there's, there's multiple pins going on, but I'm not sure who's the ones to focus on. What happened to my Techno pin? He seemed to, seemed to get lost pretty goddamn quickly. Anyhow, that was good stuff. Uh, we'll head, head on back down to our boss now. I think we've got a pretty damn good run now. We're, we're uh, five damage, five fire rate. Oopsie, almost went into the Steven floor there. Still, I, I, I do really hope the Steven floor gets some love. It's, I don't know if it's been abandoned or like if just like the devs are just finished with it, but I definitely think it needs some tweaks to make it more viable because it's, it's a really fun floor and a lot of effort's been put in. And it's just a shame that it gets so heavily let down. Soul Locket's not bad. Um, I think we'll just keep what we got going on here. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I'll just go carry on down the regular path. Got a beautiful amount of rock babies coming along with us. I got I got a nice weekend planned this weekend. Um, my my friend he has a he has a cabin up in um the Lake District, so we're gonna go. And spend a few days with a few friends, just chilling at the cabin, having some drinks, among other things, and just just having a good old time. It's gonna be fun. Quite looking forward to it. It's also like the few people that uh, that are going that I just don't I don't really get to see very often. Um, that I'm quite good friends with, so it'd be nice to sort of get a proper catch up with them. Um, Oh, we got wisdom again. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to have like a proper catch up with them. And I think app apparently there's a pencil museum that we might go to, which I find quite funny. Um, can't imagine it's the the most interesting place in the world, but it seems interesting enough. <laughs> oh, burn saw! How dare you! <laughs> um, I think I'll go for you. Not what I'm looking for, but we do have another red hat out here, actually. Damn you. You wee little laddie. How dare you. I've also been, uh, I've been re-watching Dexter. Like, Dexter's a show that I really like it, but the, uh, they removed it from, from UK Netflix a little while ago. Um, like, like a, probably like two or three years ago now. And they recently re-added it. And weirdly enough, it actually remembered the episode that I was on. When it, because uh, I started playing it, and obviously I just assumed it was going to play from episode one, and it started playing from like a, a random episode in season three, and I was kind of like, "What the hell's going on here?" Um, but I started rewatching that again. Dexter's a really good show. It's it's one of those shows that I think it's it's actually not that great. Like there's a, there's a lot of like, I, I wouldn't say plot holes, but there's a lot of like things that you can easily poke holes in, um, and like. Apparently, my, my girlfriend's big into, um, my girlfriend's, uh, really here again? My girlfriend's big into, like, photography and cinematography and stuff, and so she was noticing that a lot of it wasn't shot very well, but it's, 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 like, it was still a really enjoyable show, like, the, the premise of it. And season one, if anyone's seen Dexter, like, season one is just so fucking good. Even when you've seen it before, even when you know what's coming, it kind of, it kind of makes it better. In some ways, when you already know, because like you you see some of the foreshadowing and some of the some of the pieces of the puzzle come together a little earlier than you'd otherwise realize, sort of thing. When you watch it the first time, I mean, there's nothing quite like watching a TV show or like playing a game for the first time. I mean, that's something like I know I know a lot of people like that with like Red Dead Redemption and stuff like that. You you never really get that same feeling as when you watched it the first time. It is still nice though, isn't it? Like, to, to go back and replay some of those games. Or rewatch some of those TV shows. But there's definitely a few a few TV shows and stuff that I'd, I'd love to go back and be able to play for the first time. Or watch them for the first time. Hollow Knight is definitely one that I'd absolutely love to just wipe from my memory. I don't even know what just happened, but this boss got annihilated. Wow, wow, wow. Annihilated. 
Um, not much I can do with that. Right. Let's go. Yeah, Hollow Knight is a, is a game that I would absolutely love to just wipe from my memory and and rediscover again. It's one of those games that I I, I actually thought I first played it. Um, it's a weird room. Uh, I first played it when I um I was playing it for YouTube, and initially I was kind of like, ah, oh, it's gonna be a mistake. This feels definitely more like a game I'd love to just experience on my own. But I end, ended up being one of the. It, it still is to this day one of the, my most favorite series I've ever done on YouTube, and. You best believe when Silk Song comes out, I'll be doing a series on it as well. I don't care if it, if it barely gets any views. I'm still going to do it because I'm just so excited to play it. And playing it on YouTube the last time round was so enjoyable. I actually, as well, I got um, one of the one of the bigger um, Hollow Knight YouTubers put out like a, a community post saying like, who are some people like doing Hollow Knight content that are small that I should know about? Um, and one of my viewers like recommended me and he came into one of my videos and said hi and stuff He like came to the comment section and we had a little chat. And it was really cool It was really cool to have like some sort of this is what this was back when my channel was really small as well I think I was only on like 3k subs at the time um, My channel is obviously still comparatively really small, but um, that was when I was really really small <laughs> I feel like I feel like with YouTube I've kind of entered like my golden my golden uh my golden years of YouTube as in like I had like my 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 first like 5 years on YouTube of just like building up my channel trying to progress and sort of things going reasonably slowly but just pootering along making the content not particularly for the views just to enjoy it myself um and now I'm in that like steady stage of like I can just kind of chill carry on doing what I'm doing. I don't need to push the boat out. I mean, I, I obviously could. I have ideas and like there is there is things I have in my like potential plans of um of like ways I could easily boost my channel views and boost my uh, subscriber count. But I'm I've just I don't really care enough. I've got a pretty like reasonably loyal viewer base and I've got series that are doing well and I've got other series that like I've that that I'll always sort of keep coming back to like risk of rain that's, that's back at the moment that people seem to be really enjoying in fact i think i've got a pretty decent influx of new viewers on risk of rain because those videos have been getting like one and a half k views which is way more than normal uh item room nice um but then there's also like peglin that i can come back to from time to time and stuff i know i know people really enjoy peglin um and voidigo i want to come back to at some point and obviously there's other new games that i can i can filter in and out I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm in a good place with YouTube right now where I just kind of, I'm able to just kind of do what I want and not really worry about it. But at the same time, I'm getting pretty decent views and, and uh, like, I feel like getting 500 views on pretty much everything you upload is, is pretty damn good. That's like, it, it's, it's one of those things with YouTube where like, it's so easy to like look at your channel and compare it to how others are doing and get really down about your views and be like, oh, well, I'm not getting as much as this other person. But at the end of the day, you got to think about it. If 500 people were in a room just to listen to me speak, that's an insane amount of people. That's that, that that's a that's an incredibly large amount of people. Um, and so I, I, I try to think about it in that way and don't don't try and compare myself to how others are doing because realistically, YouTube. I, it's it's all it's a game of luck. It's all luck based. Even the YouTubers that are doing really well in the Isaac scene, like Lazy Matman, great content. But there's there's also plenty of other people out there that are making content that's just as great. Pe people get lucky. That's just how it happens in YouTube. And people that are in the situations will tell you it's not like they don't work hard to stay where they are and to keep up and continue making good content but there's plenty of people out there that aren't getting the views but are also working hard it's 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 a numbers game and it's it, it can all be luck based and i would actually say that i i have been pretty unlucky in youtube as a whole i feel like the, the amount of time i've been doing it and the other creators in the space that i'm in and the views that they've gotten overall it's it like what i've gotten out of it hasn't been quite to the sort of level that some other people have i mean if you look at some of the people that, that were growing at the same time i was you got like bd1p um who who was growing around the same time i was um and he, his channel just took off way more than mine did even though we were doing incredibly similar content and like at, at first it did get me a bit down and it was kind of like oh well why is what what what's so different like why is why is mine not taking off and at the end of the day 
it's not that his content's better than mine or mine's worse than his or it's it's not it's got nothing to do with that it's it's got nothing to do with how you play the algorithms or it's just luck it's just it's just luck this i mean he did also like he he used he used a really good strategy to to jump this beat on pm talking about he used a really good strategy to jump start his channel he made the uh, the iceberg like explained i the the isaac iceberg explained video thing which is a really really good way to like get yourself some initial good views and stuff and so, sort of one of the ways i built my early my early subscriber base my early early channel is through um doing tutorials my first ever video on my channel um my first ever proper video on my channel not my first ever video uh was a uh, enter the gungeon first floor tutorial that has like 250k views now it's one of the most viewed uh, like beginner tutorials for enter the gungeon and i could do more content like that and like i have been tempted to get into the space of doing some more like highly edited mod reviews um i think that could be quite fun but realistically i just i i like playing runs like this and i don't really have the extra time to spend a lot of time editing even though i would like to and if i ever get to the point where i get to like 50k subs and i'm earning decent money from youtube then yeah i'd probably pivot and start doing YouTube a little more full time, and and sprinkle that sort of content in a little more regularly. Um, it's, it's same with streaming as well. I I actually really like the idea of streaming, and I got into for a little while. I got into a really really good habit of streaming where I was thoroughly enjoying it, um, and I was getting a good amount of views. I mean, I was I was at a point where I was getting like twenty or thirty consistent viewers per stream, which as a small streamer that I was back at the time, that's incredibly good views wise so i have had times where like streaming has been good for me and i've actually like f for a little while i was earning some really good money off of streaming as well which obviously i'm not in it for the money i have a full-time job but one of the things that i always think about making money off of the back of youtube and making money off of the back of um streaming is when you're in the smaller scale where it's not your main income it, it, it allows you to do more with your YouTube channel. You can buy the better microphone. You can buy the new games that come out. And they all kind of go towards your, ex your expenses of what you make through your channel. For example, at the minute, uh, I, I regularly make around 150 to 200 pounds a month from YouTube. It's not a lot. I think some people seem to assume that someone that uploads as much as i do will earn way more than that but no it, it's not a lot it's 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 a it's basically a good amount of extra pocket money and that money goes towards paying artists for thumbnail art although i will say i haven't done much of that recently because i haven't had much need for it but in the past it's gone towards paying for thumbnail art um and it, it still goes on buying new games that i want to try out for the channel or want to feature on the channel um it goes towards paying for things that might be in game um and stuff like that i i i sort of try to filter it all back through but it also just it just helps with like bills and stuff. it's just nice to have a little bit of extra pocket money to go and help with the bills i mean everything's more expensive nowadays so you can't be you can't be denying an extra like 150 to 200 pound a month when it's coming in and it's like i said i've never i never set out with the goal of earning that money that's just kind of money that i passively generate just by doing something i enjoy and it's it's nice like I'm not going to not monetize my, my, my videos just, just because. I might as well sort of thing. Do you know what? We'll go to Cricket's leg. Uh, I might, like, I might as well. Um, I think, I think, it, I think it's, it's a good ecosystem that works pretty well for the small time creators. I, I get that there's, there's definitely issues for, like, the big time creators and stuff. I've heard that, like, the, the AdSense and stuff like that for big time creators is, is obviously problematic. But for small time... When it's not your main income, it's fine. It's fine. Right. Um, up we go. We're just pushing along here. Going about our life quite nicely. I love having this mapping here. Um, I'm just going to go straight up to the boss. I'm not going to go for the mini boss, I don't think. Good, good, good. Hey, fellas. Yep. By the way... Having booster pack with uh, with these new cards is very good. Although I'm surprised that one that will damage us for three hearts. 50% chance to give us an item or damage us on three hearts hasn't happened yet. I think that's where we got our initial book from. The, the book that we got, I think that's what happened. 
But we haven't had any three heart damage yet, which I was kind of expecting. Taken care of. We'll check out the secret room, of course. Why not? Good. Nothing much there to see. I realize I leave a lot of stuff behind, but when we're like this deep into a run and we've got this much stuff already, I think you'll all, you'll all agree that I don't need to be min-maxing anymore. I've eff effectively I'm on my victory lap now. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I do, I do like to bring up sort of the, the behind-the-scenes side of YouTube on my channel every now and again. Give you guys a bit of an insight as to sort of how I feel about it currently and the current state of the channel and stuff. But yeah, like, I, I did actually, so when I was like initially sort of getting my views, it was from doing tutorials and stuff. And when the uh, final update came out for um, the Enter the Gungeon, I made quite a few tutorials on that and got quite a few views and subscribers off of the back of that. And I did directly after that. I had this this plan for this, this mega mega enter the gungeon tutorial video that was going to be like an all-encompassing tutorial about everything you possibly need to know about the game that was the plan and i did actually get a pretty decent way into um into writing it uh i, I wrote a lot of the script for it i did i did a lot of extra research on items and stuff to go through and i, I had this like document to go along with it and i actually had a lot of my discord helping out with this document but it was just one of those things where it was like, it was just too big of a commitment for me and my community. What's going on with this guy's face, man? What's happening with this guy? That took so long. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was just too big of a commitment, and I think now it's just a bit too late to be relevant. I I, I like I should have capitalized while I had the chance, and now it's just kind of like, eh. I did I also did um, an Undermine tutorial. Uh, if any of you have played Undermine, I did a, a, a big tutorial for that game. Um, with help from the developers, actually. Um, I uh, I was in, in contact with, um, with a few of the developers of the game that helped me out with a few different things. I kind of had a little interview with one of them to ask him a few questions, and I had them watch through it before I published it to make sure all my information was correct and if there was any sort of big thing that they would feel was missing was uh, was in there. So that, that was really cool to do. That's definitely always been my favourite part about... Um, about making YouTube content is that I get like an in with the developers of mods and sometimes games. I mean, the fact that I've been able to interview Kilburn is like something that I, I hold very dear. Um, I mean, some of you might never have seen that because uh, ba basically me and BD1P started a new channel where we we're going to do a, a weekly podcast and we just we were we, we were very ambitious and we, we both kind of didn't have the time to keep it going. Uh, but we did, I think we did three or maybe four episodes of it. It was pretty short-lived. But in that time, we interviewed, um, we interviewed Ben Starr, who is the creator of, um, Revita. And we also interviewed Kilburn, and we had Alexa on that one as well. It was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. Um, just getting to chat to Kilburn about, um, making of the game and stuff like that. It's something you don't really get to, don't really get to say you've done. Oh, many people don't really get to say they've done, but I can. I think that's cool. Right. I'm trying to use my bombs where I can here. I don't particularly need to, but I'm trying. Get my gemstones in this guy. Ah, they fall out when he moves, though. That's not ideal. Unfortunately, while he's in the corners, they're always going to be dropping out of him. But luckily, he's pretty much dead now. I'm not even worrying about my HP because he's so near to dead. Right, lovely stuff. Hope you guys did enjoy yet another win on the streak, and I'll see you guys in the next one.